Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our Crochet Podcast, episode 21. I have a lot of really great things to show you today. I think they're great. Uh, finished objects, some chit chat, and at the end of the video, I also have a walking tour uh, doing some shopping with my girlfriend. And I managed the camera just holding it in front of me and like talking to her. So anyway, check that out. It's at the end. If you're interested in the Kenya stuff. So I live in Kenya. I have four kids. I crochet a lot. I have a yarnery. And that's about it. So the first part of this podcast is going to be about crochet, finished objects, whips, uh, future whips, upcoming cows, events, things I want to do, general yarn chit chat. Then we digress into I answer questions about Kenya from previous podcasts and you lovely subscribers slash friends. And then at the end, there's usually a Kenya blurb. So if you're just interested, interested in the crochet part, that comes first. Kenya stuff is after. Ooh, I'm looking at that giveaway. Oh, oh my gosh, I have to get that. Okay, I'm super prepared today. I even prepared yesterday. I have everything stacked here, except for the fabulous yarn we've picked out for the April giveaway. Oh my gosh, it's so dreamy. It's so dreamy. Anyway, I'm going to show you that too, a little sneak peek. So before we get started, I just want to say welcome to new people popping in. Hi, get yourself comfy. I ramble a bit, quite a bit, but hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, please uh, hit the subscribe button down below and also the notification button so you can stay up to date on what we're up to because we do have quite a few projects going on. I teach crochet class now once a week instead of twice. I kind of just canceled the Monday one so I had more time for you. Right? So that's good. Um, good for us. Not so good for my students. Sorry Kavita. You can come over anytime. Um, and what was I saying? Now I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I teach crochet on uh, Saturday mornings. So I have a lot of projects. Well not a lot, but there's a lot of inspiration going on. There's a lot of projects going on. There's a lot of yarn envy going on, so like if one of my people is making something that I want, then I pretty much have to bust that out too. So there's a lot of crochet happening in my life, like you can't tell. But I just want to say thank you and welcome to everybody popping in to say hi, hi. And my returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back and spending time with me. Uh, I'd like to give a special warm hello to a few uh, subscribers every week. And this week, I would like to say hi to Demi and Ada. Ada went on a binge last week and watched all of my vlogs. It took her like two days. <laughs> so I thought that's awesome. She's up in Croatia. So hi, Ada. And also, doo -doo -doo, Mermi353. She's been watching forever but hasn't commented. So hello. Now I get to say your name out loud. <laughs> so thank you very much for commenting. I also like to give a shout out to two other uh, crochet podcast blogs that I have been watching and I really like. First one is Terry. Hi, Terry. From Yarn Joy Podcast. She has about 600 or something subscribers. She should have way more. She has content, like so many, like so much content. Like she has videos to watch, like you'll be busy over there. Uh, great projects. She's always busy doing something super like crazy. Like she's really great. So, hi Terry. I'll put that link in the description box below. So you can just click on it to find her. And also, hi Randy from Ran Ra This, I tell you, from Random Randy's Ramblings. So, hello. Thanks so much. She's got a bunch of cool stuff too. She does yarn dyeing and like all sorts of neat stuff. So, I'm sure most of you have actually watched her. So, but if you haven't, I'll put the link in the description box below. So those are my shout outs and my hellos and also to everybody that, you know, is in my heart. So hi. Oh, and it's my dad's birthday, speaking of that. So happy birthday, dad. Now, that is that. Now, finished objects, let's start. So I had this finished last week and I was so busy looking at my notes. I didn't show it to you, my book cover. Do, 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 do. 
How cool is that? Really love it. So I just got one of those daytime or planner scheduler things from the um, stationery store. And I had one ball of this yarn left over. I had, I had four balls, I think. It was from one of my very first yarnery purchases. And somebody bought three of them to make a scarf and left one poor ball behind. Oh, so I tried very hard to make this book cover out of one ball. Quite successful. And I used natural cotton for the inside. Not because, well also I wouldn't have had enough yarn, but you want a thin yarn for the inside so that it can shut. If you use a chunky yarn, that won't shut. A little shut like that, you know what I mean? It'll be like fat and awkward. And you also want to make these inside panels a smudge smaller than even the outside panel. And you also make the outside panel smaller than the book. So everything's small. These are extra small. But that pulls it all in. You see how the outside cover curls in around the book? That's because you make the inside flat, so the inside panel's a bit smaller. So there's a tutorial about this also. I will put it in the description box below. Just a simple stitch. I think it's like double crochet, single, double, single, double, single, something like that. Just so it's a bit of a texture, a bit knobbly. So I really love that. It's like an alpaca wool blend. Love it. And I've been using my scheduler so much more because it's so nice to go and grab it and have it near you because it's great. So I'm really loving that. And it's here and it also has my notes in it. So if I'm looking around staring down, that's what I'm staring at. My chicken scratch. Really should wash my glasses. Good thing about the cotton shawl. <laughs> okay. So my book cover, yes. My shawl, finished object, I wove in the tails. So I love it. It's so nice. It's not hot. It's cotton. I used 100% natural cotton. So yes, it is heavy. It's about uh, 900 grams, 950, 850. It's something like that. Uh, I did an extra repeat of the whole pattern, so it's extra big, and I really like it. It has a good drape, like it feels really nice. So that's this finished object, which I love. Planning things I can wear with it, but the weather's a bit like, I need something a bit warmer. Oh, and my scrap plastic blanket. Let me take this off now. Got that one. That can sit there. My scrap tastic is done. It's really big. It's six feet by six feet. Oh, uh, love it. That's a quarter of it. It's folded in quarters. But it's really great. I did a tutorial. Uh, I filmed the beginning part also, but I cannot find it to save my life. Like, I went through all the videos that I have, and I know when I did it, like the time frame. I know the numbers it is, that it would be, in between the Christmas stocking and something I did in, in February. So I know where it should be. Uh, nothing. Not in the recycle bin. Like, there's no, there's no photo numbers in that range anywhere on my computer. So I think I must have deleted it off the camera, like been like, oh yeah, I've already transferred it over and I hadn't. But I filmed a little blurb, a little like, you know, back and forth to get it started with my new joining technique for such projects, which is the magic knot. Do you guys magic knot? I love the magic knot. Uh, no ends. I mean, it's, oh, I'm loving it. No tails, no extra bulk where your tail is. Yes, there's a knot, but you can usually get it inside your stitches. So you don't even see it. Anyway, I'll do a video about that in the next couple weeks. And it's also in this Scraptastic A Blanket tutorial, which is uh, going up tomorrow, I think, if I keep to the schedule, which I have in my book. So this is finished, finally, love it. It now sits in here for when I'm cold. And it's great. And my last finished object Yes, it is. Nemesis pillow. So, doo doo. -doo. Ah, isn't it great? 
And I did like a pico. I can't totally see it because of course I use this crazy eyelash on the very end, but it's like a nice knobbly uh, edging. Super fun. And this is a three part tutorial. I think most of you have seen it. I have my tail to go in, apparently. But that is the, oh, another one. That's the back. So it says a double round or two rows at a time granny square, which I really like. And, oh, it goes great. Isn't that super? <laughs> I wish I had some sort of crazy pink eyelash to go on here to put like a crazy edge on that one. Ugh. I don't know what I have. I mean, I have metallic pink, but then there's no metallic pink anywhere else. And what are you doing with metallic pink on the very edge? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But now this one looks great. I, it's, it has a different back. But original. Nemesis. So those hang out together on my sofa. Love it. I think I might like the new one better. Like I think I do. Anyway, that is that. Now people were also asking how I pick these colors. Like, um, very complimentary. Sorry, I'm sitting on my feet again. They're cold. Um, they're very complimentary, like, oh, I wish I could pick colors like you. Yes, you can. They're, you cheat. So, I use this book here. It's heavy, obviously. It's like the biggest crochet book I own. Yes, my kids are home. Uh, and I go and get it every time I'm starting a project because it has, on page 16, by the way, which I memorized, the color wheel. So you look at what colors you want to do and you're like, oh, those three go together and you also see the tone. You want to do it in the same row. You don't want to do like a light blue with a bright green. You want to kind of do them in the same amount of vibrancy as each other. And the other way you do it is opposite. So this tealy goes with that coral. This purple goes with that egg yolk, actually. Mm, egg yolk, that would be cute, right? Um, green with pink or this bright like a boy blue with a boy orange so you can see what colors go together or complement each other because they're across the color wheel so that's how I do it I cheat I've also ordered from Amazon actual color wheels so I don't have to lug out that book all the time because yes it's heavy and I really only do use it for page 16 it has good projects in it but I don't think about it like I don't look I looked at my books for borders and granny square patterns, but I, I don't really look to it for, uh, like if I'm making a scarf, I don't go, oh, I might have a book. Like I look online, you look at Ravelry, you look, you know, around. But it has a whole bunch of things in there that I'm like, I've been looking for a pattern. So it, it does actually have good patterns, which, I should remember more than page 16. So that is in there. Oh, let me check my... So those are my finished objects and how I pick my colors, approximately. Uh, I also have 10 more books coming from Amazon. 10! Okay, so there I have Blueprint Crochet, Crochet Geometry, Crochet Noro, can't wait for that. It looks so beautiful. Edward's Menagerie. Edward's Imaginarium Monsters. Edward's Menage... Ed, oh no. Edward's Imaginarium Dolls. Those are cool. They flip. So you pick the head and then you pick the body and you pick the feet. Wouldn't that be so cool? So excited about that. I haven't had a flip book since the 70s. So, so all about that. Also getting My Crochet Closet. And... The complete book of border designs, which goes along with my other one. You know, they do the stitch. Oh, let me get it, because that book is really good. Like, everybody should have that book. The complete book of crochet stitch designs. 
So this is even like super cheap. It's like a few, like $12 or something. I mean, don't quote me. I'll put a link in the description box below. But what is so good about it, uh, obviously it has charts for each pattern, but it also has just the same boring yarn color. How can I flip this nicely? Ah. The same boring yarn color for every every texture, every sway, every pattern. So you're not like, oh, I really love that. Like, do you love the color or you love the pattern? Because this way you only see the pattern. So it has all of them inside, like pretty much every pattern you could think of is already in here with the written words and the charts. We know I love my charts. Uh, and there's a border book, the same one, but with borders. So, I mean, I like my Edie Ekman one. Did I bring it back? No, I didn't. It's where I'm filming the, uh, for filming on my pillow. Maybe I did, I don't know. But uh, it has all the different colors for the trim, so sometimes you're like, oh, I really like that border, but you're liking the color. So this one, these ones I like because it's just boring yarn color. So you really actually see the stitches, you see the design. So I'm getting the border companion to this because I have OCD and that's how it is. I have shopping OCD and book series. Oh, anyway, I don't mind. So those are coming. Mm. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, okay, almost. Almost getting through the crochet bit. So for our works in, for my works in progress and our upcoming Cal, our April Cal, had so much fun doing this uh, March Cal. Like it was so fun and I think it's a really good opportunity to like connect with you, see your work, be working on something together. There's so many wonderful ladies in that group. Like obviously my time difference is opposite. I'm about 12 hours opposite from the US. And most of you, like I think 55% of my subscribers are from the US. So generally you just switch the AM to PM. So morning for you is nighttime for me. So I'm sleeping through lots of other people's problems. Like you have a problem with your cow, like I'm sleeping. But these other ladies, like I go in the morning and I'm like, oh no, there's a problem. And it's already been sorted out. There's so many helpful ladies on there. So thank you so much for everybody who is making that uh, Facebook page or Facebook group like an actual community. Like, is that kind? No, good. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for everybody. Like, it really means a lot to me. And I'm so happy that we have each other and you have each other. So amazing. So there's two Facebook groups. One is for general crochet stuff. Put it in the description box below. One is for our crochet logs. Um, so instead of having a new group for every cow, we're just having a crochet along group and we'll have a new topic, although you're welcome to work on anything, of our previous cows um, on that group. So we can like link the patterns or whatever we have going on. It can just be on the one page and you're welcome to stay and do all the cows with us. So our new cow coming up da -da -da, is this cardigan. I'm sure you remember, but some of you might be new. Ooh, let me show you. Ooh, this one is a bit twisted. There we go. So this cardigan, I really, I really like wearing it. I don't like what it looks like. Because it's a chocolate brown row and it's a black row. And I think both of those colors are like just, like it's a bit embarrassing. It's like, you know, it's a bit like, oh, the crochet lady. Like it's just obvious. So, but I love it and I wear it because it's really cozy. It covers your bum. Like you can sit down at a restaurant and you're not sitting on like a cold chair. If you're sitting on your own cardigan. Always a bonus. So, picked colors for it. 
because I also, have, you know, I have yarn and I can use any yarn, but I wanted to do a nice easy acrylic uh, because it'll be easy for you to see the stitches and also easy for you to get a similar yarn. Right, so we're just going to do that together. So I picked the colors. One of my lovely friends and students came to help me. But those are the colors. Aren't they great? So it just goes from like a denim up to a gray to a parchment and then a bit of a tan or sand. So I'm really looking forward to that. Basically, big granny square, solid granny square, change your color every row. I think someone's at the door, hold on. Nobody at the door, just my kids ringing the doorbell, as you do. So you remember, but it gave me a good chance to get the April giveaway. Is it time to cover those birds? I think so, right? One more minute. Giveaway. Look how easy it just goes right on my arm. Oh, and doesn't it also match my cardi? Just saying. Anyway. Oh, here they come. Yes. Wow. Call her here. He's just shutting the door. Okay. That sorted itself out. So, you all remember the Kaziri bracelet, love it, great colors, two of the local acrylics, so you can give those a try, in, what, in concrete and azure, loving that, fuzz, sorry, oh yeah, good. Also, two loopy eyelash in a sand and a sunrise. And two, what are these ones? Don't know. Two wool blends. They're wool with a bit of acrylic, I think. Look at the colors. So dreamy. So all that. Can you imagine? Textures, colors, oh, lucky. So that has me like super excited and I'm slightly jealous. I won't, I won't lie. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, anyway, so that, I hope you're lucky and you get the April one because this is slamming. So excited. Oh, still doing the rest of the regular shopping to go with it, so that will get filled up. I have found if I get those treats too soon, my kids eat them. <laughs> so anyway, it's on my list of things to do. Get that one filled up, got a couple days. That'll be good to go. Holy, oh wow, they're loud. They have one of those, um, it's a Chicago Bears sand bottom filled they call it tackle buddy i'll put a picture yeah and they brought it down it's in the hallway and they're beating it so that's the lovely sound you hear now i wanted to get the milwaukee one i wasn't sure i don't know my husband went to school high school in chicago and university in Wisconsin, Whitewater. So both of those football teams are obviously close to our heart, which I know is illegal, you have to pick one. I can't. Well, I don't even watch football, so don't, like, don't, don't quiz me on it, I have no idea. Okay, now, that was pretty much it for the crochet bit, unless of course I've forgotten a bunch of stuff, which is possible. Oh, it is 22.8 degrees today. I put my little Hold on. A 
I'm not joking. Anyway, beautiful. <sighs> now, that was pretty much the crochet bit, unless of course I've gotten confused. So now we're gonna move on to question, questions and answers about Kenya from last week. Um, I'm gonna do how I learned to crochet in a separate video, or a se not a separate video, like a, a podcast in the future, just to keep it a bit short, like to keep this one a bit short because I've already yabbered about so many things and I wanna keep the time a bit short because I have that shopping one to put at the end of the video. So how I learned to crochet is gonna be next Wednesday, the next episode 22. Next question, my husband's job, his family has like an industrial hardware company, which means it's really big, like it's big like a Home Depot, but it's industrial, which means they have like the pipes, the valves, like more of the boring hardware. Not so much of like, the, oh, I'm gonna go hardware shopping, but like, you know, spare parts and weird bits and conveyor belt stuff uh, for the large companies that are here, which are sugar companies and uh, Del Monte is also here. Good thing to talk about next time. Remind me. Uh, is it dangerous in Nairobi? It, I guess, there's always, I guess, parts of town that are dangerous, but I think that's in any city. I don't think it's any more dangerous here than anywhere else in the West. I mean, bad things happen no matter where you are. Uh, definitely think it's safer than lots of places in the world these days, not mentioning names, but we all know what's going on in other spots and it's definitely safer here. Uh, four seasons, do I miss them? Summer, no, because I always have summer. Not always, but 10 months a year I have summer. I miss, I miss the excitement of spring, but I'm not deprived here at all where you don't uh, have like the nice weather. So if I had to go through a winter to get the spring, I'm not into that. I say no. I miss snow before Christmas. Like that whole cold feeling of like, oh, it's Christmassy. Here it's like nice and warm and sunny. Like it's just getting to be a beautiful summer because that's our summertime. So I miss a white Christmas, if that counts as a season. We do have seasons. We have uh, yellow tree season, so that blooms at one particular time. And we have, they have different names, but I just call it yellow tree. We also have red tree season, again it has a proper name, but I call it red tree. And we also have jacaranda season, and the jacaranda flowers actually fall like snow. So you actually walk on gorgeous light purple petals, and there's, it's so beautiful, and people are so sick of them here, like not foreigners, like not me, I think it's great, but other people, like gardeners, <laughs> people who have to clean, like wash cars and clean up after them, because it's literally like, it, it, it kind of gets sticky on the ground eventually, like it's a pain in the butt to clean up after them. I don't care a bit, it's gorgeous. So the kids and I, we have a game, so at, in jacaranda season, we try to park underneath the jacaranda tree and what, while we're going shopping or whatever we're doing, and whatever petals have fall on the windscreen, we all place bets on how many are going to be left on the windscreen or windshield if you are North American uh, by the time we get home. So the kids love it. It's like so fun because they spend the whole time fascinated, like walk, waiting for one to like roop off. And then we also have a debate if it falls in where the wind, wind shield, wind windscreen wipers, windshield wipers are. Does that count? Is it on the, wind, on the windshield or does that, is it off? So we have big debates about that and th th we love it. So that's jacaranda season. Although, well, we make it into a season. Feels like a season. Yarn shop, yes we are a yarn shop. And how do I advertise and how do people come shopping? Uh, only my crochet people come shopping because it's in my house. I don't have strangers come to my house. So unless I know you, you are not shopping here. You can shop uh, online, our website's down, but that'll be for a few more months. Uh, but you can send me a message, you can Facebook me, you can send me a WhatsApp. 
let me move this weird. You can see yarn better. There we go. Um, send me WhatsApp and I send you pictures. You tell me how much, where, blah, blah, blah. And then I deliver via Sendy, which is like an Uber app, but it's for motorbikes, courier motorbikes. So a courier comes like within an hour usually to my house and delivers within half an hour to one hour in Nairobi. If it's going out of town, uh, then we use the bus. So I send my gardener on public transport down to the bad part of town that I don't go to. It's not that bad. It's just like you can't park. It's just not... It's, you know, it's not that great where all the buses are. And then he takes the parcel and goes and ships it off on the bus. So that's how you shop here. You tell me what you want and I send it to you. Or you come to crochet class. Or you win a giveaway. <laughs> okay. Uh, and why the name Secret Yarnery? It used to be named uh, Thimbles of Hope. So if you scroll down in my videos, they, it used to be Thimbles of Hope. Um, that was for my initiative to train single mothers which just kind of became a bit unrewarding, I suppose, would be a polite way of saying it. It was just hard finding the right people, like people that needed the help, to people who wanted the help, I guess. So finding both of those things, because some people need help, and then, I don't know, anyway. Uh, so Thimbles of Hope is not really a yarn shop, so it started the yarnery for my crochet students and then started importing yarn and blah, 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 and Thimbles of Hope just doesn't say anything about yarn, like it's not yarning. So I went through a bunch of names, tried to find something, found, heard the word or saw the word yarnery. I think Kavitz, I think you actually mentioned it to me, loved it. It's so close to winery, which is like one of my other favorite things. So I'm like, I knew I had to, it had to be a yarnery. And then I needed a word to go with it. And I was doing an Instagram post and I had, I was just about to post it, but it didn't, it wasn't right. Like I put something yarnery, da da da. I don't even remember what it was, but it, you know, when you think you know the name of your company and then you write it out and it was like, that is wrong. Like it's not that whatsoever. And then I knew that it had to be secret yarnery because it is a secret yarnery. It's not open to the public. It's not, it's not like a, it's not a retail space. It's a secret yarnery. It is my secret hoarding yarn stash, which I share with my students and other yarn enthusiasts, uh, but on a one-on-one, -on -one, you call it like a one-on-one, -on -one, like it's not, it's, it's secret. You have to know where, you have to know me to know where it is. And you have to, I have to like you for you to be invited. So that's how it goes, secret yarnery. Shh, secret. Uh, are my kids crafty? My son, my 11 year old, very crafty. Uh, he likes to engineer stuff, build stuff, create stuff, problem solve stuff, uh, recycle, things into other things. He's very creative that way. My daughter, she's nine. She does, she can crochet like so crazy. She doesn't even look at her hands. Like she'll literally be staring off into space or talking to somebody else and the needle is just like flying, like her hook is flying. She's really good at it. Although, uh, it's taking a bit of a break from it. I am her mother and I am encouraging her to do it. So, you know, who wants to listen to your mother? Nobody, so. She's taking about three weeks. I don't think she's crocheted in about three weeks. But she's made a couple quarter-to-quarter -quarter ponchos, and uh, she's working on a granny square to make into a cardigan, but she's on hold. Not interested at this time. My boys, hard to tell if they're curry. They're hard to tell yet. They're sporty. One's really like he's a dancer, he's a singer, he's a performer my four-year-old and my five-year-old, I don't know, his, his, he's blooming, he's blossoming. So we'll see where his, his personality develops. Hopefully, hopefully he's crafty. Uh, what's our winter like? Our winter is uh, like one or two days a year, probably one day, like our, the record high or the, uh, for that day will be Somewhere between 15 to 17 degrees. I think once it was 14 degrees. Once. Uh, and probably about twice 
it'll it'll be cold like 17 degrees and that's as high as it's gonna get so that is really cold and I say really cold because the inside the houses because they're thick stone walls they're always it's like a, they turn into refrigerators like you end up going outside to warm up because there's no central heat so you cannot warm up inside the house like the house is like a chiller like like your nose is cold you can almost see your breath maybe it's not that bad but like it feels like that in my head it is like that but I'm probably exaggerating um, are there scary critters around the house no there's not we have sugar ants a couple times a year they come they come when it's raining and they come when it's not raining they come looking for water they come because there's water I don't know but I always hear like my houseman will be like oh you know oh, yeah you know because it's raining outside I'm like, okay, and then he'll be like, oh yeah, because it's sunny outside. I'm like, well, what does that mean, right? So there's like this uh, ant powder, you just sprinkle it around your foundation outside your house, and they don't come in, they leave you alone. And they're just little sugar ants, you know, those little tiny, tiny ones. Uh, if by chance you have a bunch of kids and your kids eat like little pigs and there's food on the ground, cute little pigs, uh, that they don't pick up, which is one of our rules, you pick up, if you drop something, especially food, you pick it up yourself. Um, there, there might be ants, like, the, the, you know, there might be ants on it. If you have it, put the chalk around your house. That's the worst of it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Why was the grocery store so empty that from filmed, the one I filmed at the end of the last video? I went early in the morning, not early, like 9.30, because that's when I like to do my grocery shopping. I don't like shopping where it's super busy. I f find it, like... Well, you can so easily avoid it that when I do shop in a busy place, I feel like other people are intruding on my own shopping store, like my own grocery store, and they shouldn't be there. I'm like, why are you here? Like, this is my grocery store. It's my milk. Like, everything here is mine. Why are you here? Like, why do I have to go around you? Because I'm really good at picking places that are empty. So that one is empty because uh, in two years, one, we had one shopping mall forever, 30 years probably. It's been there. They keep adding on to it, more modern and more modern. But it used to be quite cottagey, rustic. Uh, and then about uh, one and a half minutes down the road driving, they just built another uh, shopping center, which is where I went to. And then two more minutes down the road, they just, well, not just, a year ago, they finished building, I think that they called the second biggest mall in Africa. It's definitely the biggest in East Africa. Uh, two Rivers, which is where I'm taking you shopping at the end of this video. And that one has a Carrefour, which is a French grocery store chain, so that has like everything. No furniture, mind you. But they have everything else, it's super... So like you have a choice of like going to the grocery store... Well actually that's a dead grocery store now. But there's the one at Village Market, the grocery store chain kind of has gone under, or is going under. So. Like they don't have milk, like they've turned off the refrigerators. So you can't really go shopping in that one yet. It's being taken over by another company. So that'll be good when it does. Then, so you have a choice of these two shopping malls, uh, Riviera, which is where I took you last time, or Two Rivers. Two Rivers has Care For and Food Plus, the link I shared in the last vlog. So it has two grocery stores to choose from. And Riviera is closer and empty and only has one grocery store, but you don't, everybody just pretty much goes to the other one. They go, because if the grocery store doesn't have it, then care for will. If care for it doesn't, the grocery store will. So I took you to the one that nobody goes to. It's a bit busy on the weekends, I guess. They have a food court there, like an open patio thing, and they have a really good uh, Italian pizza place, Artisan 360. My kids love it. Uh, they make shoestring French fries drizzled with truffle oil and Parmesan cheese for $5. Five dollar. I love it. I, I eat them. Like they come in like a big soup bowl and I literally get my own portion and my own pizza. Like I eat like a pig there. They're so good. Uh, anyway, so that's there. So you go there for the restaurants. There's also a good Mexican restaurant that opened up there, but I haven't eaten there yet. So I have to wait and see about that. So are those all my questions? I think so. Yes. Oh, two more books I didn't mention that I'm getting. Uh, Celtic Cable Crochet, so that's like Cable Crochet. Ah! Oh, and the Animal Heads, the trophy 
uh, like the taxidermy, crochet taxidermy, the lion and the zebra and stuff. I'm getting that book. Okay. That was at the bottom of my page. Now, I think that's it. We did it. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your ideas. I would like to hear from you what kind of tutorials you are looking for and what kind of stitches. I want to kind of come up with a formula uh, that will also help you, but what stitches you want to learn, like a project and a stitch. We're doing one cal every month, which is great. We're doing the giveaway every month. I can't wait for that one. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Um, but what stitches? I'm thinking like maybe on the Monday, you know, Mondays or Tuesdays have like the stitch coming out or pattern, a tutorial, something like that. Like I want to do a Pico stitch tutorial. Like things when you're starting out, you're like, I don't really know how to do it, but I'm going to try. Uh, little things like that. Maybe a border? Trim Tuesday. Oh, that'd be cool, right? Trim Tuesday. Would you be up for that? I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, life changes. I have no idea what the future holds, but for right now, in the near future, I think I can put some time towards it. I got a little bit of a system, so let me know what you think about that. I'm totally here to crochet with you guys. Love it. And just stay on the yarn journey together. So thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And stay hooked. And stay tuned for our shopping trip at Two Rivers. My girlfriend didn't know. I didn't tell her I was filming. So when she, like, so, you know. Anyway, I didn't tell her. So when we were walking around and stuff, if she says anything inappropriate, she has a bit of a Zelda mouth, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, she's super funny Canadian lady. But, um, uh, if it goes quiet, that's because uh, there was probably inappropriate language. It doesn't happen often, but that's why there's nothing wrong with the film. And then as soon as you know we're done talking, then the sound comes back. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And stay hooked. No. Well, we can check if they have hardware stores, like the DIY place. But I think it'll work. Going down. Can I come my bag? Yes, you can. I don't want to have to carry my crap. MRP, what's that now? Which one? This one. Oh, Mr. Mr. Price, Mr. Wright Price or something? Mm. But it's their home furnishings. It was as close as we had to uh, IKEA. It used to be at Westgate. Oh, okay. So you used to go to Westgate just to uh, see it. But that's over. All right. Oh, wow, they have a stingray in there. Is that a stingray? I think it is. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's new.
Oh my gosh. Baby hingeback. No, leopard tortoise. Are these little leopard tortoises? Yeah. How much are they? Six thousand five hundred and two thousand five hundred. Wow. I have not seen those ever in my life. I know. Well, not babies. Okay. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I used to bring fried back for the case load. Oh, now they have it here? It's a dog food that's made from tripe. Oh. So I don't know if it's 100% tripe, but that's okay. It might be tripe-like. He likes it. I just throw it in there to wet up his dry food. And because it's, um, what's uh, It's, uh, his pill is in there. Not that he ever notices. his food. Oh, you get twin cars? It's cute. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like everywhere you turn, it's just like right there. Yeah, you, you can't get it in the grocery store. You can't find my C25. Yeah. And C25, not here. Oh, I'm going to be NC25? NC25. Okay. At Mac, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. For my pasty good looks. See, I asked you what you wanted, now you're getting pasty makeup. <laughs> it's like a compact, right? Or yeah, it... it's a compact. But Kush got me from... Um... I'm as bad as a kid. The worst food, it's not even, it's the worst food layout. It's not yeah, even a food setup. court. It's the setup. It's crazy town. Technically, the food court super fail. Just because you can't see all the restaurants. And it's pretty windy. Anyway, that's the road over there that goes to my house. Kinda.
know. It's like it's like a candied cough syrup or something. It's really gross popcorn. It's got. A, I bought it once because I thought I'd like to give it a try. Oh, that's bad in there. Oh yeah, cutie. It's my style. I don't think I've been in that store. I think it's new. Sorry? I think that store's new, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I still have my coupon for this place. Which one? Remember I bought a person off the way? Oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder if they're honoring it. But I've not gone back to try. They'll probably be like, oh, you only had six days to come back. No, but we asked her. She said there was no... Oh, good then. Oh, that store. Oh. So they're doing their exercise. That's so cute. Do you see the stingray thingy? Oh. Look at his eyes moving. Yeah. Or gills, maybe they're gills. Probably gills. How can he be happy? Can't be. He's just trying not to die. Up, up. Up, up in the way? Yeah. You know, water filter -o. That one's gonna be big. Is alcoholism a huge issue here? No, we don't call it alcoholism. We just call it drinking. And everybody drinks. To excess? Yeah. There's a place right there with the Uh what that where? Right there with the fridge? No, that's a that's a restaurant. Oh. It's also new, I think. That's new? Yeah. Ice cream place? Huh. Oh, we'll have to check that out too. Uh um filters. at the end.
Oh, it's just a stand, it's not the filter. online at Jumia. Jumia? Yeah. Uh, they deliver it, and they might have it. It takes a few days, but at least you could say it's coming. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess I've got to get my ass home. Thank you. 